So good morning guys, we're here at the Modified Intensive Tilapia Hatchery and of course I call it Smart Artificial Incubation System due to the inputs or interventions incorporated in this um, hatchery. So we have this Arduino to automatically control the temperature that will provide the optimum range of temperature for the eggs to hatch and of course for the fry to survive so many are asking about the process on how the water circulates around this system and of course this is one of the recirculating aquaculture systems under the area of hatchery so let me explain this to you so first um, we have this IBC tanks we have two IBC tanks here about 2 meters high or 2.5 meters high so this is about 2 cubic meters of water capacity and of course we have here is the mechanical filter in order to filter the water from the AI system and this is about three chambered filter so for the first chamber there sorry it's closed but we have three filters for the first chamber we put uh, stones crushed stones and look at this one and of course in this area the second chamber uh, we put charcoal and here it's the reservoir for the better quality or cleaner water and we have a submersible pump here to move the water from this tank from this chamber into the IBC tanks so firstly the water from the IBC tanks will move inside this a smaller tank from where we put heaters on it and this is the pipeline there going into the overhead smaller tank so this is another line for the water to go here so we have a venturi here to increase the aeration or to add uh, the salt oxygen water uh, of the water and of course we have aerators to increase more oxygen dissolved oxygen in the water so after that the water will move into this pipe going to the artificial McDonald jars so from this tank it will move here the water will move here down into the McDonald jar so these are the eggs that were collected yesterday and for this 8 liter capacity plastic bottles we can put about 400 to 500 maximum of ml uh, milliliters of eggs so after that the water will move here going to the stainless fry through so we also have we already have yoksak fry in it so the water will move here into the outlet and goes down into the buckets. So after the buckets, we have this pipe connected to it and a bigger line of pipe going into the filtration. So let's follow the line of the pipe. So if you observe it's, it's yellow uh, orange so it will the water will 
automatically goes here in the filtration chamber or mechanical filter and this is connected the first chamber is connected to the second chamber and the second chamber is also connected to the uh, third chamber which is the repair box for the better quality of water and after that the submersible pump will move the water up into the IBC tanks so that's how it goes the water will just circulate into the system and we are using the water for about three to four weeks and after that we need to clean or replace the water with a new water so there's a much uh, water that can be saved or conserved due to this recirculating aquaculture system for this uh, setup of smart um, artificial incubation system for tilapia eggs so again this is Arduino and we are connecting heaters here going into this chamber into this overhead tank there so we have heaters there so uh, it will automatically stop the heating once it reaches the set temperature of about 31 degrees celsius so that's it and of course these eggs or the collected eggs is expected to be hatched in 3 to 5 days time and the yolk suck fry will stay here for about 3 days so we will be transferring the uh, yolk suck fry in the greenhouse ponds so these are the greenhouse ponds uh, for rearing So we are rearing the produced uh, fry here for about three weeks or it depends upon the need of our fisher folk and clients. So after a month, um, we have observed that the fingerlings or the fry will grow to as much as size 17 to size 14. So actually we have um, proposed this greenhouse pond be because of the environmental condition of the place. So if you compare the temperature of water for these outdoor ponds with these indoor ponds or the greenhouse ponds, um, there is about 3 degrees difference. 3 degrees difference. Like if the water outside is about 20 uh, the temperature of water in the green inside the greenhouse is about 23 and even higher so that's all for now so see you later bye bye adios and god bless